Well, it seems that some people know what our Painesville Area Community Foundation is about and what we've been doing. So we are going to take you on a little history about what we've been doing for the last 12 years. The money that was given to us from the foundation as in their first gala event, uh, as I recall, it was around $9,000 that we received that helped us raise our local funding that we needed to do. We used the money that we received to purchase materials. Um, the Painesville Area Center was the recipient of the gala funds um, Quite a few years back, I believe we were one of the first recipients actually. The gala money just really gave us that, that jump start to be able to continue to do lots of things and since then the, the center has just really grown and we've been able to do so many more upgrades and so many remodeling projects and it was all because we got the first start with the extra gala money that we didn't expect in our budget. Our service center had benefited through the gala in 2009. We have shown how we can increase the need of Painesville. Our average in families now have declined. We are no longer at 210. We are now averaging about 160. Due to the funding from the gala, we thank them very much. We were able to help families succeed and move forward in life. The Painesville Community Foundation assisted the Painesville Let's Go Fishing in helping the, us to buy this pontoon. We're celebrating our 15th year this year in providing boat rides, fishing expeditions to over 5,000 people. We'd like to thank the Painesville Community Foundation for helping and working with the Painesville Let's Go Fishing for making all this possible. The gift that we received, the Historical Society received from the Painesville Community Foundation uh, helped put that village together. It, it made that village become a reality. Our Painesville village that we created uh, inside of our museum and it's a great replica of what Painesville was like in years past. We were fortunate to receive uh, money in the, uh, from the gala and we put it to good use for the ballpark. It's brought in a lot of people into our community. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, last year uh, we received the 2018 uh, Field of the Year from the Minnesota State High School League and the money that has been raised in the ballpark helped beautify our ballpark. And Have a great day and go Bulldogs! So our, our donation that year from the uh, Painesville Area Community Foundation was $17,500. It's an incredible, we're very fortunate. We use that money to finally purchase a 15 passenger van, a, a reliable vehicle. I no longer had to go sell my soul every time we were gonna do an outing and, and borrow and drive and, and clean and bring them back, you know. And so what a blessing to finally get some transportation. The Coronas Lake Association received $16,000 from the Community Foundation in 2013. The donation was very timely as we were stepping up our prevention efforts of inspections and education from aquatic invasive species invading Lake Coronas and we also were focusing on water quality. That money was re used to for improvements on the, at the house and then they upgraded like windows and made their facilities more user friendly. Serene Path is a outpatient nonprofit treatment organization here in Painesville. In addition to offering treatment, part of our mission is to offer sober living to those in need. Our original plan was to open our sober living within three years, but because of the money from the community foundation, we were, open, we were able to open our uh, home uh, two years early. 2016, we decided it was our 10th year of doing the gala, so the foundation decided that it was time for us to build an endowment fund so that we could give grants back to the community every year. The beauty of the endowment 
is that we just spend the interest so it just goes on and on. It, uh, it never ends. It just keeps supporting our community. Okay, 2017, the year of the vocational careers in Talbot to support our school and uh, it, it has allowed our kids to uh, get more education for their future. I'd like to thank the committee members of the Gala Foundation and anybody that's contributed to help this fund. Um, the students that this goes to help are ones that may not be involved in other regular sports and it gives uh, these techie type kids a chance to interact and network with students from all around the region. Ordered us with the grant and uh, the, the calculators are made well use of uh, by our pre-calc and calculus kids. It's just, it's a, it's a real handy tool to, to have and I know the students have appreciated it and I know myself as a teacher, I've appreciated it 100%. So. Our organization uh, had some money to disseminate to people who were in a financial crisis, emergency financial crisis. Maybe somebody had a, a, a car that needed to be repaired or a rent for one month or a utility bill or some uh, smaller bills that needed to be paid that they couldn't get around to paying them. We currently can use the Jaws of Life to cut roofs off cars. We can uh, open up a steering area, a driving area where you can get more room to get a patient out or a victim out. So my name is Officer Thomas Fred with the Painesville Police Department. This is K9 Jerry. With your grant, you helped us uh, purchase Jerry. We've been on nine different deployments uh, searching for weapons and for some uh, drug searches on motor vehicles. You've gotten to see where we've been and where we're at now. And we want to thank the Painesville community for all the support you've given us. A lot of exciting things are happening here in this community and we want to make sure we keep it going. Thank you again. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you. I want to thank everyone that participated in the gala.